Hello, this is Rob from RobCarbon.com here and I'm going to show you how to enter in different languages for this page on this WordPress blog here with WPML WordPress Multilingual Plugin. So the first thing we need to do is go to the back end. So we go to the web address with WP Admin and then we go to Pages and this is the home page Olympics live streaming on your PC and you can see that there's the pencil there by the Chinese flag underneath the Chinese flag and that means that we've done the, Ch the Chinese language already so you can see this page in Chinese we'll go back to English for now and what we want to do is all the other languages but first of all um, we want to have a look at the English because we want to take out the link and the and the picture. So we'll go into edit there and HTML on the right. And first of all, let's uh, copy all this text. And you can see in here there's a link and there's also a picture which has a link in it as well. Uh, so we need to copy all that. So we go into a text editor and paste all that in. And then all we need to do is isolate the link, which is just the URL there, and the link with the picture, all that HTML there, and we'll get, get rid of the rest. So let's say we want to do the Dutch translation. So we go to translategoogle.com and we want it from English and we're going to pick Dutch. So we get all this text, copy that and put it in there. We go back into the Dutch one, we click on that plus and now we enter the Dutch text. So there's the title and the main text of the now you might want to put proper paragraph returns in Now, as you remember on the English, there's a link there, so we put that link in. It's actually this, this one, and you remember I copied it on a text document. So we put that link in there. Obviously, we don't speak all the different languages, so we don't know which words to um, add as the anchor text of the link. It doesn't matter. I mean, you could do the whole of that last paragraph as well as a link, just to make sure. And then the first paragraph or the second paragraph, wherever the picture was before, it's it's after the fourth paragraph actually. But it doesn't matter. But somewhere in here, you need to put the HTML we copied from the English page of the link and the image. So that's all done now. All we have to do is press publish. And then go back to the home page. And remember, this is just English and Chinese now. And we'll refresh that and have a look at our Dutch version. So there's our link. There's the picture with the link. And there's the other link we did as well. So all we've got to do is, I think you can actually you can actually translate the next ones from here. You could go and do the French by clicking there, and that's the French. Or or you could just go back to the pages that I showed you earlier and click there to do the French and get the translation, of course, from Google Translate. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. That's Rob from RobCoven.com showing you how to enter different translated languages into the WordPress page with WordPress Multilingual Plugin. 
Thank you very much. Bye.